Dananja. Very useful. Uses the bounce and rides on it. Yeah, beautifully played. Just rocked back. The short pitch delivery. The ball's hard. And it carries through comfortably in the pace of uh, Rabada. And it just leant back. Just guarded it over the slip cordon. At that point, he knew exactly what he was trying to do. And implemented it beautifully. Four more runs and means a change of field. South Africa take out the gully that was in place and they put him back at fly third man. Over the top. A firm footed drive. Now what what these runs will just add to the woes of South Africa. Sri Lanka just piling on. Imagine they get to the 300 mark. That's that becomes psychological. Go slices off an outside edge. The 300 for Sri Lanka. It is the it is the first for Sri Lanka in the series in this two match series. In fact, uh, for any team for that matter, it's been a low scoring series. But this is very important. Dananjay De Silva earlier on said that 300 should be what they're looking at. put down tough way and giddy to get down to it but he got his hands down there very difficult chance in the follow-through it was low game back quickly it's like he's hurt himself as well did it hit him on his shin yeah that's what's happened thought he got his hands to it but Dananja actually got a good piece of that. Oh, he's greeted <laughs> with the swap to mid wicket by Rangana Herat. Excellent shot. That delivery wasn't that short either. It was a bit of a loosener from Dal Stain, so there's no real pace behind it, but uh, Herat's playing well. Short hand jab. Oh, take that. What a shot, Rangan Herat. He's got him. He's got him. That's it. Finally. South Africa have the final one. It's a fair delivery. Can we have spin vision, please? We're gonna need. Yeah, just rock and rolling that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go back to Nigel on ground. Nigel, you can see the original decision about. Yeah, the end of a rat. He played superbly well for his 35. Schwanken Innings comes to a conclusion with 338 on the board. And it's a ninth wicket for Keshav Maharaj. What a wonderful performance it's been from the young South African spinner. A day that he will remember for the rest of his life. Nine wickets in the test innings. Nine for 129. Brilliant bowling from Maharaj. Yeah, outstanding. Keshav Maharaj. Nine for 129. Second best figures for South Africa in test matches. After Hugh Tayfield's nine for 113. Time for batting now, and um, Dean Elgar, senior partner in this opening partnership in his 51st Test match. Number one gone. Turn and a really good catch at second slip. Dean Elder's edge carries Sri Lanka. Ecstatic. Yeah, it's going to be challenging for the South Africans, and this is not the ideal start. Ball that pitches in line, forces Dean, Dean Elgar to push at it. And takes the leading edge. He's out in front of himself again with a slightly closed bat face, and the two slips are in place. And he batted well this morning, and now already he's picked up his first wicket of the match. Done and just strikes South Africa for that loss. Ah! 
Doesn't turn. And he needs it. He's playing for the turn. South Africa have lost another. Jinxed him there, Kepler. Well, it's a good delivery. Goes straight on with the arm. Dennis De Bruyne had to play at it. Sri Lanka on fire. He was looking for that to turn back into the off stump. So in the end, it looked as if it was a little bit wide, but it didn't turn. It just went straight on with the arm. So that's a difficulty that the South African batsmen face. They're in trouble, all sorts of trouble. Dennis De Bruyne gone for three, eight for two. Oh, put him down. Nine thousand test runs for Hashim Amlai. Third South African to reach that milestone. Congratulations to Hashim Amla. <laughs> That's straight given. That's why he's so dangerous. He'll bowl wicket to wicket. Ball slides on. Markham looks at Amla. He gets the nod of the head, so he walks. Playing for the turn, Aiden Markram. This one went straight on. He's got the ability to do this. Rangana Hereth hits us outside. The line just goes on with the arm. That stone did. Beautifully bold. Wonderful pace from Herat. Doesn't look like he does much, but he gets wickets. Aiden Markram going for seven. 15 for three. Come on, Killer, come on, Killer. That's what played. It called it too, Russell. Two in a row. First boundary, the ball before, and then straight away. On the offside this time. Yeah, poor length. You can't bowl this length. Bowl the leg break, but that's a freebie. Here he goes again, that's even better. Outstanding, that is a shot. Gets right to the pitch of it. And away it goes for six. He's looking a million dollars. Paf Duplessis gives himself room to go with the turn to the offside. Now for six of the match. Comes from the bat of the South African captain. Yeah, that's well played. Nicely over it. And he'll pick up four more. Here's the aggression I'm talking about from Amla. He's not going... From Duplessis, excuse me. He's not going to let these Sri Lankan spinners have it all their own way. Reverse in the pressure. They're doing just enough. It's all about getting a little bit of bat on it. Taking it off the stumps. Effective. This time... It has to be. Abla walks away. And uh, Dilruan Pereira strikes. Big wicket indeed for Sri Lanka. This is a big wicket. Just checking the front foot. No problem in the end. A little bit of the cushioning of the boot behind the line. And Pereira gets his man once again. Pitching in line. Amla has to push hard at an inside edge. Pops up in the air. Easy catch for short leg. Fortunately for South Africa, they lose one of their kingpins. Hashim Amla has to go. He goes for 19 of 58. And South Africa now find themselves 70 for four. That's nicely played. Gets the sweep out once again. Yes, it did come off the stumps, but he was in full control. And that gets Bavuma off the mark. Always a good, good option. Facing spinners provided uh, difficult line and of course the length to sweep yeah! and he's on his way he's reached out to try and sweep that one and i think it's just gone and hit the off stump didn't get the length correct had to reach extra far he's gonna send it upstairs i don't know if he got an edge in it it was caught or whether it hit the pad it's a fair delivery at the front on, please. 
Okay, well it doesn't... I'll need Ultra Edge there please, Sonny. Yeah. Rock and rolling that. Yeah, right there. Just keep rock and rolling. And keep through, going through. Yeah. Freezes. Could I get you to freeze at the bottom of the bat? There, right there, thank you. You stick with the original decision about. You're on screen now, thank yep, you. Yeah, that's a confirmation caught behind. Those spikes confirms, but they'll run. Dilruan gets his man. There goes the sweep. Just past the man at square leg. Now, I said I was interested to see how he's going to go about things. He got out playing the sweep shot in goal. Down. Oh, blood a drive. Should have been taken. They've taken harder ones. The cock survives. Again, the off spinner to the left hand are causing problems. Quinton the cock pushing hard at this delivery. Big outside edge goes to second slip, but not taken. Second one, Sri Lanka have missed today. What a catch! It needs to stick, it needs to go straight. You still need to keep a hold of it though. Man, wow. Straight to the man. Tried his sweep shot. Bounces on him. It's a top edge. It's fraught with danger if you don't execute correctly. And Maharaj must depart. A procession for South Africa. Yep. Rock and roll that. Thank you. Yeah, we'll put it on big screen uh, out. Big screen out. There's confirmation. Maharaj will make his way. Pretty straight. He's across the stance and he walks. Rod Tucker's finger went up. This time, what does Rod Tucker say? He says yes. Dale Stain reviews it, but it looks like a fifer for Dananjaya. That's a fair delivery. Good ball tracking there, Rod. Impact in line. Hitting the wicket's umpire's call. Back to Rod on ground. And stick with your original decision of out. You're on screen. Thank you. He does play a shot and all it can do is edge it straight to first slip. South Africa bowled out from Mars the 124. And there's been another quality bowling performance by these Sri Lankan spinners. Lakmal not called on to bowl one delivery in the inning so far. Just 34.5 overs. South Africa trail by 214 and we have to wait and see if they make them follow on. Ball just not there for the drive. Welcome hand to Angelo Matthews. So Sri Lanka have it all their own way once again. Five wickets for Akila Dananja and four to Dilruan Pereira. Once again for South Africa, it's a case of trying to fight back in this third innings of the match. And they might well put in a good performance, but those 214 runs that they're behind hurt already. That's beautifully struck straight down the ground. Seen a lot of full deliveries from Rabada. A couple of full tosses. This one does pitch. Beautifully played by Corinna Rector. No In the gap. It's a good nut. It's a thick edge as well. When it's going for you, well, it is going for you. Four runs to Corinna Ratna. That's absolutely hammered. Does it go all the way? Yes, it does. The 
Natelica is determined to be as positive as he can possibly be. I think he's been given the license. I said, Kunaratna, you go out there and just bat. Kunaratna will take the risks. He takes the risks and plays it beautifully. He's not unaccustomed to a surface where the ball just stops just to touch off the spinners. Something he's dealt with many times in his young career. Drags it from outside the off stump. That's in the slot. This is the problem with Maharaj. He's, he's becoming very predictable to the left-hander, spinning it back. So that shot is on always. In there, might be taken. Oh, no. It's gone all the way. There was an element of risk for sure. Well, it's gone for six. That's what he confirms. Oh, no. It's four more. It's over. That man went hard at it. Gunnar Tilaka. Because he knows he has to get it over. He has to beat that man, make it as difficult as he can for him. That's well executed. Uh, just not allowing South African bowlers to settle into a line or a length. Somebody. Taken. Dean Elga completes the catch and one in the second innings means that Keshav Maharaj has 10 in the match. Gunatilaka 61 though, 91 for one. Yep, it normally does bowl seam up. Too short that time, just dug it in, trying to spin it. Long way down the track, they're going upstairs to check. Uh, got ball tracking now, Rod. Pitches in line, impact in line. That's hitting the wickets. Uh, back to you, I'll get you to change the decision to out. Thank you. Dananje De Silva doesn't score the second time around. It's 102 for two. That's gone through. Four more back to back boundaries. This time with the turn. A good sweep shot. Now shows that he's able to score through the offside as well. That brings up 50 for Kona Ratna. Fourth in a row, really has been a fine effort by the young man. And he's definitely put his name in the hat for man of the series. He's been absolutely superb. Every time he's got to the crease, he's got to 50. Goes inside out, no one in the deep. Timed it well enough, Kusal Mendes. Nicely played again. No oh, hesitation. Peacock's yeah! confident. Yeah, have you got it the other side, please, for me? Just rock and roll on that. Slowing it down. Great work. Just mark him in the deep. So Mendes, he goes for 18, Sri Lanka 136 for three. Yeah, Pakistan in December for South Africa at home. Oh, wonderful shot. Angelo Matthews. Knocks it into the gap. Moves on to 59. So that's the end of that second day's play here at the SSC Sri Lanka. Well on top, leading by 365 runs. Still seven wickets in hand. And most importantly, three more days remaining in the test match.